in South Carolina, the State Department of Transportation released a joint statement with Charleston leaders saying in part, quote, we are sending support and strength to our sister port city during this difficult time. The South Carolina Department of Transportation, South Carolina Ports and Charleston Branch Pilots Association have already had initial conversations regarding the incident and we will review harbor operations, procedures and state infrastructure. Well, here in the upstate, we got a chance to catch up with a local expert on river pilots. Ken Kolb is the chair of the sociology department at Furman University. Well, we asked him the odds of something like this happening. It's pretty rare. It does not happen often, but when it does, uh, you hear about it. So, you know, they say uh, no news is good news. Um, this accident occurred at 1.30 in the morning, which goes to show you that this type of container shipping takes place 24-7, 365 days a year. Uh, big accidents like this, similar incidents, 1980 Tampa, um, uh, a big ship took out a bridge. 1996 in New Orleans, a bulk cargo freighter lost power in a similar incident, rammed into a mall on the riverbanks. Um, these are large vessels with a lot of mass, and when they lose navigational power, um, you can't turn them around quickly or stop them.